Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? Ghoul Brothers here out at the range with a cool new product that we just got called the Sure Throw. We're out at the range, gonna have some fun and put it to the test. Let's go. For our first test, we got a little challenge. Aaron versus me, how far can we throw him? There we go, that's the one. Here it comes, that's here it comes money. in, it's coming in, it's coming that's in. That's money. Boom! This is where it landed right here. 107.1. 107.1, Steve. <laughs> that's awesome. That's gonna be tough to beat, I think. You can really whip these out there. We got a little wind working with this, but that's still a long way. Aaron's up now. See if he can throw any further than I did. As you all know, Aaron's got me in the muscle apartment. So it'll be interesting to see if he can actually out throw me. Honestly, I don't think he'll outthrow me, so I'm just going to hang out here at the 100 yard mark. What do you think? Will he outthrow me? Comment below. Steve seems to have the throw down with the sure throw. 107.1. That's a long ways. I'm going to see if I can beat it, though. There we go. That one's going the distance. Boom. Right there. I'm sorry to say that did not look as long as yours. Flex for the camera. What I want to ask is what you're doing with all that muscle. <laughs> Just a hair over a hundred yards. Okay. But either way, that's a long ways to throw clay by hand. Let's see what else we can do. This is the shirt throw white flyer snipe. Oh! Yes! The throw behind the back, load the gun, and fire it over the head shot. Yeah, just like that. Woo! So one of the things I really like about the sure throw is it is very easy to load. No struggle, no bending. In fact, what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to whip one clay out there, load another, throw it, and load a third clay and throw it before the first clay hits the ground. Oh, with time to spare. Another thing I love about these throwers is just the versatility of throws that you can come up with. The options are really unlimited. This is a really tough one. Aaron can't hit this target, guaranteed. It's called the Tomahawk. You just tomahawk that thing. It's on edge and it gets out in a hurry. Want a challenging target? Here's one to the right. Load the clay upside down. Throw it straight away. This is the long range thrower and I would only recommend this to people that want a real hard challenge. Some of those other throwers that are on the market don't get them out nearly as fast, but this bad boy, if you're not on it, you ain't getting it. So many ways you can throw behind the back. Whoop. Oh, another really cool thing is you can throw it one of two ways. You can throw it like this, or you can throw it like this. All right, here we go. Oh, no. Finally got them. When we were sent these sure throws, I thought they looked like something else. Now is the segment where y'all comment below and say, what else could they be used for? And we'll act out what we think they look like. Let's get this game started. Score one for me. Oh, these alligator arms, it's finally nice to get that itch. It's Shredder. I'm sure you're wondering, so what's our honest opinion? We have used many different throwers, and I'll say with the Sure Throw, just like all throwers that we've used, 
there is a little bit of a learning curve to it. It takes a little bit of a while to get the feel, get the technique down, but once you do, you really start to get comfortable with it and it's a lot of fun. Yeah, one thing that I really enjoyed about it is that you can throw them right-handed, left-handed. You can put the birds in right side up, upside down, and all of those different things will give you a little bit different presentation and you can basically do whatever you want to try and make your friends miss that target. There is just like almost an unlimited combination of possibilities when you start throwing with these things. And, and the, every time you change the way that the clay sits in there or how you throw it, it gives a different presentation. Yep. And it takes a little while to start to really feel comfortable mastering the different throws. Um, but once you do, so many combinations are possible. Yeah, re really great. They, they load easy, so that's a nice thing. You don't have to be crushing clays in there. Uh, you can throw doubles with either of the throwers. Obviously, the short handle thrower, the original, uh, it's going to keep them a little closer, a little more leverage on the long thrower, so you can really whip them out there, as Steve showed. You sure can. And a couple things that I think they should be aware of, when you throw a double, they do split quite a bit. Yep. Um, we were able to shoot doubles um without a whole lot of trouble but they don't stay close by they do split to the left and right quite a bit we weren't able to find a way to overcome that maybe with some other techniques you can um, another thing we found is when you really whip them when i mean i didn't have nearly as much trouble just kind of because of the muscle thing but aaron had some trouble breaking clays i did when i really put all my arm into it i would break some clays but I think that's because these are not meant to be thrown hard like that. And, if you and just... that's, not, that's not a normal hard though, guys. I'm just like, I was, <laughs> I, I was whipping them pretty hard. I didn't have nearly as much trouble as Aaron, but he broke uh, several clays. What's interesting about it is it doesn't take that much effort. When you're, especially the long range one, just a nice follow through and those clays get out in a hurry. I didn't need to be throwing as hard as I was. That was, no. that was my fault. I don't think, I mean, you, you're still getting 80, 90 yards with a good, solid follow through throw you don't have yeah. to rip your arm off to get it to go that far either and i think we're used to other throwers where if you want it to go faster and farther you better just whip it harder mm -hmm. and that's not the case here whip it good. so we've had a lot of fun uh, i think these are just a unique fun thrower made right here in the united states we're going to put a link in the description if you'd like to check them out definitely a great option to bring out to the range and uh, just make it a whole lot of fun shooting clays there are other throwers on the market and if it is a thrower that you gotta bend it to get it in, we're just gonna tell you right off the bat. Don't do it. Avoid it, <laughs> avoid it. This is a great one, check it out below guys. And remember, it's impossible to hit the shots you never take. So pull that trigger and shoot for your dreams. See ya. Yeah.